Alright, this is a video on practicing multiplication facts using skip counting. So, um, what is skip counting? Well, when you were in kindergarten and you learned to count by one, so you, you learned to count one, two, three, four, and so on. So, you were really skip counting by ones. To each one of these numbers, you just added a one. So, one plus one more would be two. And then two plus one would be three. And then three plus one would be four, and so on. So let's say I told you we were gonna skip count by five. So you would have your five, and then all you're gonna do is add five to that. So you're skipping six, right? So you're, up, you're counting by fives each time. So this would be five plus five is 10. And then 10 plus 5 would be 15, and then so on. So you're just skipping. You're not counting by ones, you're counting by something else. So you could skip count by twos, fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. So it's just a way of counting. Now, I'm going to show you two types of skip counting. One, you're just going to use your fingers to skip count, and you might have a song that you've memorized so you remember the order. Or you're going to write down the skip write down your skip counting to ten places, so you can use that um, visual device in order to solve your problems. So let's do the first problem. The first problem is eight times five, which is really eight groups of this symbol right here means of, okay? So we have eight groups of five. So if you wanted to use your fingers first, we're counting by fives and we're gonna have eight fingers. So watch, ready, go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So the answer here is 40. But let's say you have trouble skip counting by fives, you forget some numbers, so what you also could do is write it down. So what I like to do is think of my knowledge of a die. I, I can look at this number right here, know it's five, because I have I'm, and know this is a three, and know this is a six, and I don't even have to count the dots, I'm just so familiar with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use my knowledge of five to do my skip counting of five, up to um, 10 places. So I write the number five, and then I just, make my little skip counting die. And now I know if I counted these dots, one, two, three, four, five, they're equal to five. So now I'm just gonna count on, so I'm gonna count on by five, so I'm not gonna have one five, but two five. So that would be five. So I hit it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've skipped five places to get to 10. Now I'm gonna do the next one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So again, I've skipped five places to get to 15. Now I'm gonna do the whole thing up to 10 of these. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I know I've gone 10 places when I see my original number and I see it over here in the tens place and I have a zero at the end. So I know I have 10 places, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? Now, this said 8 groups of 5, not 10. So all I'm going to do is count up 8 of these 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you'll notice I got to 40, which is the same thing I like counting on my fingers. So let's say you were given a whole bunch of problems like this and you want to find out, oh my gosh, um, what is five group, 
um, and I'm going to go backwards. What what if I had this and it was nine groups of five? So all I do is count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I would know this answer is 45. So next problem. So here is a problem. So the first I'm going to count on my fingers. I know that this symbol right here means times or of. So this is six groups of eight. I could read it this way, six group of eight, or I could read it this way, eight groups of six. So for today, I'm going to read it. And that's because the commutative property, they say you can go either direction, you'll still get the same answer. So I'm going to do it this way, six groups of eight. So I'm going to skip count by eights until I have six fingers. Now I have skip counting songs, so I've memorized this. It's very easy for me. This might be more difficult for other people. So I'm counting by, I'm skip counting by eights until I have six fingers. Ready, go. 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, 48. So I've got six fingers, so I know my answer is 48. Now, if you didn't know the song or you just can't memorize songs, this might be too difficult for you. So what you could do, you know you're doing your eights. So I'm going to do eight. And uh, this only goes up, this die only goes up to six, right? So I'm going to have to use two die, so two dice, or dice. And I'm going to write a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a three. And if I count those up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got my first eight. I remember I'm going to add eight to this. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I'm going to add eight to 16. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now add eight to 24. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 and so on until I get to an eight is a zero. So 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So again, I know I'm done because I was doing my eights and then I had an eight in the tens place and then I zero. So I know I've got 10. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. But this doesn't say 10 groups of 8, it says 6 groups of 8, so I'm just going to count up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and my answer is 48, just like it was when I used my fingers. So you can have this down. What I do whenever I'm doing one of these kind of um, practice um, papers, I um, sometimes you're timed, I don't know if that's good or not, but you would say on your mark, get set, go, you would write your... Um, skip counting up to 10 places, and then you would answer the problems. And at least that way you're not just sitting there trying to hope the answers will pop into your brain. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.